Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all my dear students. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing fine, staying safe at home with your family. Welcome to the English online lesson with Teacher Eu. Today we are going to learn Unit 6 of the Year 4 syllabus under the title Getting Around. We are going to use the Get Smart 4 book, page 62 and 63 as reference. In this lesson, you are going to number one, learn new vocabulary, number two, listen and read a text, number three, write about your transport. Alright, so now let's look at the vocabulary for today. The first vocabulary is motorbike. Motorbike. Motorbike is motorcycle. Okay, now this is wheel. Wheel. Wheel means roda. Taxi. 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 Next is comfortable. Comfortable. Comfortable means selesa. Right? Like this woman, she is sitting in a very comfortable position. Selesa. Okay, next vocabulary is exciting. Exciting. Exciting means menyeronokkan. Okay, exciting. Tourist. Tourist. Tourist means pelancong. Lastly, slow. Slow. Slow means perlahan. Okay, so now boys and girls, let's go to the lesson for the day. Today, we are going to learn about the different means of transport. Kita nak belajar tentang jenis-jenis uh, transport, jenis-jenis kenderaan yang berbeza. Different means berbeza. Okay, so now let's listen to the text. Alright, this text is taken from the Get Smart book, page 62. If you have it, you can refer to the book. One. How many different means of transport do you know of? Listen and read. Then match. Social studies. Different means of transport. One. A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. The driver sits in the front, and two to three people can sit in the back. Many tourists take tuk-tuks in Thailand. They can be faster than taxis. Riding in tuk-tuks is fun and exciting too. 2. Gondolas are long boats. In the past, people used them in Venice, Italy, to get from one place to another. Gondolas are very slow. Riding in a gondola isn't very comfortable, but tourists love it. 3. People ride snowmobiles on snow. Snowmobiles haven't got wheels. They have got skis. They can go very fast. Snowmobile drivers have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes. It can get very cold on a snowmobile. Okay, so now let's discuss the text and match the transport. Right, number one. A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. Okay, looks alike. Means tuk-tuk nampak macam motosikal. With three wheels, dengan tiga roda. The driver sits in the front. Okay, pemandu dia duduk di hadapan. And two to three people can sit in the back. Okay, two to three. Dua atau tiga orang duduk di belakang. Many tourists take tuk-tuks in Thailand. Okay, uh, pelancong ramai ambil tuk-tuk ni di Thailand. They can be faster than taxis. Tuk-tuk uh, faster, lebih pantas daripada taxi. Riding in tuk-tuks is fun and exciting too. Okay, riding in tuk-tuk maksudnya naik tuk-tuk 
is fun, seronok dan uh, menarik. Okay, and exciting too. Okay, so we have three pictures here. A, B and C. So, which one do you think a tuk-tuk is? Yes, a tuk-tuk is picture B. Number two. Gondolas are long boats. Right, so gondolas, long boats. Boat yang panjang. In the past, people used them in Venice, Italy to get from one place to another. So, in the past, maksudnya zaman dahulu, uh, orang guna gondola ni di Venice, Italy. Okay, gondola ni di Italy. To get from one place to another. Maksudnya, dia nak pergi satu tempat ke satu tempat lain, mereka naik gondola. Gondolas are very slow. Ha, gondola ni sangat perlahan. Riding in a gondola isn't very comfortable. Okay, maksudnya naik gondola ni, Tidak selesa. But tourists love it. Tapi pelancong suka. Okay, so which one is gondola? Is it A or C? Yes, gondola is A. Yes, gondola is in picture A. It is a water transport. Okay, kenderaan di atas air. Right, now let's look at the last one. Number three. People ride snowmobiles on snow. Okay, maknanya uh, orang naik snowmobiles dekat salji snow. Snowmobiles haven't got wheels. Okay, snowmobiles tak ada roda. They have got skis. Uh, mereka ada skis. Okay, ni skis. Uh, they can go very fast. Uh, snowmobiles boleh pergi sangat laju. Snowmobile drivers have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes. Alright. So, driver is no obvious, dia kena wear helmet to protect the head. Okay, untuk lindungi kepala dia. And wear very warm clothes. Okay, warm clothes maksudnya pakaian yang memanaskan badan dia. It can get very cold in on a snowmobile. Okay, means kalau kita naik snowmobile ni, dia sangat-sangat sejuk. Okay, so, uh, so snowmobile is picture number 3. Right? Now, let's look at the value from the text. Understand different cultures. Okay, fahami uh, budaya yang berlainan. For example, uh, the culture of riding a tuk-tuk is in Thailand. Gondolas in Italy. And lastly, snowmobiles uh, where at the places where there are snow. Okay, so different place, different cultures. Now, let's try an exercise. Okay, so now boys and girls, let's figure out whether the sentence is talking about the tuk-tuk, gondola or a snowmobile. Sentence number one. It has got wheels. Here ada roda. So, which transports that has got wheels? Yes, it's the tuk-tuk. Number two. It's kind of boat. Dia seperti boat. It is the gondola. Number three. It hasn't got wheels. Hasn't got means tiada. Ia tiada roda. Yes. Both gondola and the snowmobile. Number four. It's slow. Ia perlahan. So, which one is it? Yes, it is the gondola. Number five, drivers has to wear warm clothes. Uh, pemandu kena pakai baju yang memanaskan. It's the snowmobile. Okay, lastly, number six, tourists take it. Uh, tourists tadi pelancong. Pelancong suka naik dia. So, which transport? Yes, it is both the tuk-tuk and gondola. Okay, so now boys and girls, we have come to the task for today. Your task is, take a picture of one of the transport at your home. Write at least three interesting or important information about the transport. Send them in our telegram group. Okay, so awak kena ambil gambar. 
Okay, ambil gambar. Gambar salah satu daripada kenderaan di rumah awak. Okay, and then you write three interesting. Tulis tiga uh, benda yang menarik. Sekurang-kurangnya tiga benda menarik tentang transport awak tu. Uh, and then send them. Letak dekat telegram group kita. Okay, so for example, I've done this. Alright, for example. So, this is my bike. Okay. So, I write three things about my bike. This is my bike. It is very special because it has a carrier behind. Moreover, it is purple and purple is my favorite color. I ride my bike with my youngest daughter every evening. Okay, so my dear students, please take one of your transport at home and write at least three things about your transport and share them with us, with the rest of your friends in the Telegram group. Okay, so... Uh, that's all for today. If you have any problem, feel free to ask me through the WhatsApp or Telegram. Okay, goodbye for now and good luck.